Who's going first? Can go first? Cool. Come on then. Some distortion, come on. Step on it. It's tuning in to another episode on Anderson's TV and today I'm with Casper and Isat and we're going to talk about uh, learning to play the electric guitar and the experiences that you've had uh, yeah. doing so. So we'll start with Casper. Tell us about what was it that made you want to play the electric guitar? Well actually originally I kind of wanted to play violin. Okay. quite funny but my dad said that guitar is a really great thing to learn it get me really far. Yeah. So in the end we went with that and I played a bit of acoustic to begin with and as I got more into it went to electric yep so I played that for about five years and then I started to lose a bit of interest okay so my dad really wanted me to keep going and I kind of wanted to keep going but my teacher it wasn't so great with him okay so I joined British School of Rock yeah and then I kind of realized how you can play the drums you can play bass uh, singers and how it sounds like that and it just was so much it's better. rekindled yeah, all, the, all exactly. the interest. How, how about you Isa? Well so I always liked music, all kinds of music, especially with guitar on it and my sister got a classic guitar and she was playing it but then she didn't really liked it at the end and then somehow the guitar got to my room. I started playing it and for like a whole year uh, I learned it by myself so obviously uh, I had some stuff wrong, I, my technique was not correct uh, then, but I was so into it so my mom just got me a SX, like Telecaster style electric guitar and I started lessons back in Turkey. Cool. It's been like four years now. Oh brilliant, so both of you have been playing for, for a while then now, yeah? Sort of four or yeah. five years plus. So you must have started pretty young. What, what was it like? Um, like your first guitar, did you have something, you know, sort of small size like this yeah. or did you go straight on electric? It was or? actually pretty much that size and yep. it's almost identical to that actually. So this is a this is a three quarter size guitar yeah. um, and I, I think this is a killer way to start because I think it, you know, for parents who are maybe worried that you might not stick at it, mm. it's not a big investment so these kind of things you know, if you buy a proper one from a guitar shop rather than a toy shop, then you know typically you, you still only fifty or sixty pounds to get something like that. It's a great way to start, and as I'm sure you guys will attest to, the nylon strings are kind of softer on the fingers, right? Definitely, so yeah. yeah, you don't get doesn't that. Doesn't hurt of, that much. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, and then how long, you know, so how long were you playing that guitar before you you managed to? I don't think it was particularly long. Right. I, well, I had to teach outside of school. And then when, when we got to year two at my old school, we could start music lessons. So then I started with the teacher there. And I think after maybe a few months, he said, no, get a um, electric. Mm -hmm. So my parents got me a Yamaha Pacifica. Great guitar. Which was a, yeah, really yeah. good. And then I kind of went on from there. I think my 10th birthday, I got a Fender Telecaster. 
Nice. Then, yeah. Take note, parents. 10th birthday, friend the Telecaster. <laughs> <Yeah>. No pressure. <laughs> and um, I think as I started to get really into it, so it was last Christmas that yeah. I got, so I was looking around the shop and I ended up getting a Gibson Les Paul. Wow, lucky yeah. you, man. And how about you, Isak? What was your first guitar after you went from the, the, the classical guitar? Yeah, my oh, first was Essex, yeah. Telecaster style. And then after like a year and a half at Essex, uh, I've saved up a lot of money. I've never spent my money. I, w I was saving for the Gibson SG. And at the end, I didn't have enough. Like I was halfway there, but still my mom put up uh, the other half and then we managed to get a Gibson SG. It's my like dream yeah. guitar. It sounds like you guys have got really supportive parents. Do you, do you feel, um, have, have they you know played a, an important part in encouraging you to, to, to play the instrument? For sure. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. always, especially my dad with his, and my mum as well, but I think my dad was more into that I think, um, genre of music. Right. Than it was. Does he play? No. So he's basically living out his inner rock child Probably, yeah. in you. Yeah, exactly. I see. And what, if you could be any guitar player on the planet, who's your, who's your inspiration? Um, probably Slash. Cool. No, but it's, I really like Guns N' Roses. Nothing wrong with that. I did see them, and I think just being able to play like on the tours that he's doing and yeah. the, with all the different Les Pauls, yeah. I would love to just be able to sit in a bedroom with about fifty Les Pauls on the other side of the bedroom <laughs> and just wake up every morning just look at that them is Slash's that, bedroom, yeah, literally fifty That'd Les Pauls. Great. <laughs> How about you? I prefer Jimmy Page. Oh, old school. Yeah. Well, even Slash band. is fairly old school now, isn't it? <laughs> Both those bands were around long before you were even born, wasn't yeah. it? But. But Jimmy Page, so big, what, Zeppelin fan? Yeah. Jimmy favorite Page. solo? What's your favorite? I would go with Black Dog, but I also like Stairway to Heaven solo. Nailed it. Oh, it's a great tune. Wow. Well, look, I mean, that's, I mean, I mean they are two of the most influential rock gods out there. And, and uh, you know, that's super cool. So look, um, there's a ton of, I, I, want, to, I want to talk about, you, you both mentioned, well, the reason that you guys are here today is because um, a friend of mine from a long time ago called Paul started this British School of Rock thing, which is um, uh, something that, that uh, encourages young people to get involved. Yeah. There's a little bit of tuition, there's a little bit of band practice and mentoring. It's just like a cool thing to do. Yeah. And I'll put some links in the description below about that. But tell me how you got into British School of Rock and, and you know, what it's enabled you to do as guitar players? Well, it was mainly again because I lost, started to lose interest in guitar. Yeah. I, I know I wanted to carry on. There was something inside of me that wanted to. Yeah. And also, I wanted, but it was get more a new teacher really. Yeah. So when I joined there, and just that first session was really cool. You know, of a so guitarist. So important. You connect with your teacher. And yeah. Um, yeah. Because that's the. It's so easy to to you know the guitar's not. It's not like playing a PlayStation where you can load up a new game and like within five minutes you can be level 50 and everything. Yeah. You know, it, it's an instrument where you will only get back out of it what you put into it. Mm. And if you aren't, if you don't have a teacher that inspires you or you're in a band that inspires you, it is easy to lose interest, mm. isn't it? I, I think that's why I'm gonna sound old and farty now, um, but in my day, again, a lot of the teaching was, you know, learning to play on a nylon string guitar to nursery rhymes. Mm. And that's not terribly inspiring. And that's kind of what put me out of it. Because oh, he, started, what, yeah. he had this guitar ensemble, so he would spend some of the lessons getting me to play yeah. a bass line, which was, you know, you could sight read through yeah. that. And it was, just, it was playing the same note for right. bars on end. And that started, I really wanted to learn some new challenging songs and like yeah. really good Sweet classics. Sweet Child of Mine, yeah, obviously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, um, but I, I think one of the best things about British School of Rock was when I first went, there were lots of older boys yeah. playing the guitar. And just kind of seeing, like one of them I think was in college. Yeah. So looking at him and kind of thinking, one day, if I keep playing, yeah. I could be like that and do all the solos and all that. Awesome. Really cool. That's my that's my tip and secret. Always be the worst guitar player in the band <laughs> yeah. because then you'll learn from the better one. H how about you? What you know? What was your sort of experience? You know, with British School of Rock. So uh, when I first came to UK, I wanted some. I, I want to play guitar with other people. Uh, I don't want it, want it like a proper lesson. 
where it's only teacher and you. Um, so British School of Rock offers you to be in a band uh, no matter how good or bad you are. And uh, it's just so friendly, everyone's so friendly. They're like my family now. Oh, so cool. nice. Well, I mean, if you're in, if you live locally to Guildford or, you know, southeast of England, uh, there might be a, a British School of Rock thing near you. If you don't, or you live abroad or something like that, do Google this, because I think the, the idea of these kind of band camp kind of weekend things are mm. getting more popular now. So you might have something yeah. similar near you. And playing the guitar in a band is about as cool as it can <laughs> possibly get, really. And that leads me quite nicely onto my, uh, the next thing, because I'm really hoping that um, parents will watch this video and with children who are, what's the youngest you think you can really kind of get into the guitar? How old were you? I may have been about five. Five, so you can get into it pretty yeah, young, yeah. can't you? Um, and I think, you know, five's about the youngest. You're never too old to learn, but I certainly think if you can start learning when you're in your teens, it gives you a big, you know, a big advantage over people who leave it later than that. Um, but. There's so much scientific research about um, how learning an instrument, not just the guitar, any instrument, um, uh, helps improve your academic uh, abilities, helps your attention span, things like that, and increases your um, confidence in sort of social situations like this. I mean, you guys coming yeah. across as pretty confident. We've never met before. Cameras are rolling. You know, you're being pretty cool. So how would you? You know what have you got like personal experience or stories where you can say yeah you know this these are some really positive impacts that playing the guitar have had on me um, well, I think it has definitely boosted my confidence yeah like to begin with at my old school again we had music um, competitions mm -hmm. and so I play my guitar and I started off sitting down and playing very simple bits and eventually when I started to get better and stood up put a strap on and so then I got comments from everyone, the parents watching, the, all the pupils saying, yeah. that was amazing what you just did, how on earth did you do that? And um, people saying that I was just in a different world almost. I was completely into it, what I was doing. I think that for me, just having everyone tell you that was just great. And I was like, yeah, this is, I want, really want to do this much more. So that's probably- I mean, that's really wonderful to hear. And, and how about you, Isa? Well, it helps in every way. Uh, it also helped me get into a sixth form, actually. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, my grades were not the top, but uh, my social works and, like, uh, my sports and music, my talents in music, uh, really helped me to get into the sixth form I wanted to go. It's, it also, like, starts conversations with random people so easily. You can make friends by just playing guitar. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know my life, you know, I'm, I'm pretty long in the tooth now of playing the guitar. It shaped my whole life and yeah. made me loads of friends and, and gave me confidence. I don't know whether it made me academically any better. I think my, <laughs> my grades would suggest that that scientific research might be flawed. Do you need grades? But, uh, I don't mean grades in the guitar, I mean grades in other subjects. Yeah, but do you need those grades? You well, I suppose it depends what you want to do, doesn't it? Yes, if you want to lead my sort of lifestyle, possibly not. But uh, if you want to be a doctor or something like that, yeah. it might, might be a good idea. But the, the, the science is indisputable. Um, and I do know, I do know that, that uh, a lot of kids who, it doesn't sound like this applies particularly to you, but a, a lot of kids who maybe, I don't know, you touched on it a little bit, ESAP, but maybe just don't connect with some of the more core subjects at, at, at school and just feel like they're losing that interest in it. You know, music or, or sport, but you know, music in this case gives you a real purpose to sort of want to go to school and want to participate. So I, yeah. I think it's important. So what's it like then when, uh, so how does this British School of Rock thing work? Is it, is it like a weekend and you all join in to, to, to meet up with your bandmates? I, I have it on Friday in okay. Guildford. So it's a straight after school, I walk down, have 45 minutes of te being taught the song. Yeah. And then we play for 15 minutes. There's a live band really. Awesome, yeah. and how many of you are in the band? Um, there's one other guitarist. There are four drummers I think there. Three singers and a bass player. So. And and Isa, what what's that? Do you feel, you know, does it feel like the being in the band is is the whole reason to sort of do this? Is there a certain feeling of yes, this is why I play? Yeah, or? exactly. I mean, British School of Rock um, 
is basically being in a band, performing live, and learning as a group. And it's the opportunity it gives you to play like uh, together with bass. I mean, if for me playing with bass, drums, vocals, uh, so nice. Like you, can, it's so hard to find a proper band if you're like learning guitar. Sure. Yeah. So British School of Rock offers us that. Cool. And is it is it all boys or a mix of boys and girls? I mean, what, what's the sort of typical band lineup? Well, um, it's in guitar we have half girls, three girls, and three boys. Okay. So it's very mixed up. It's not only boys. Excellent we have lots stuff. of girls as well. Oh, uh, cool. Lots of girl drummers, bass players. Is it all mixed? Yeah. Right yeah. across there. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. And what's the biggest gig that you guys have done to date? I think we did Britfest. You did Britfest? Yeah. Wow, how many people were there? I don't know. <laughs> Too many to count. 150. 150 <laughs> people. Yeah. That's a big gig. Yeah, it was really good. Awesome. How did you feel? You know, what's it like when you, all the 150 people go, Ooh. It's exciting, really exciting. Yeah. Cool feeling. Well, back in Turkey, I did a gig with 900 people. 900? They were all uh, like 800 of them were from my school. So I don't know if it counts. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, before we sort of jam out, um, I just thought I'd, you know, I just thought I'd kind of go, f again, this is really aimed at the parents. I don't think playing the electric guitar is anything like as expensive as, as people might imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, I've picked, there's nothing here that I've picked that's more than 200 pounds. The, 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 the little nylon string acoustics, again, are 50 or 60 pounds. The steel string ones are under 100. These kind of electrics. Th this one, I, you might be looking here going, he's massive, that guy on the end. Well, I'm not, I'm normal. It's just the guitar's small. Um, so, so this guitar is, again, designed for um, you know, players, probably maybe at the most it's... your age and, and younger. So this is, you know, and this comes complete with like a pack and a bag and some you know online tuition and stuff for under 200 pounds with an amp uh it's it's tough to really i know what i spend on my children on rubbish and you know i think this is this is well you know well worth it and then of course lessons which you've both said really really important i think schools can provide um a really affordable way to just get into it a little yeah. bit that group tuition but again as parents talk to your kids about how engaged they are with it and if they're kind of pushing back going oh, it is a bit boring and I'm not really into it find them a teacher that does inspire them because it's too easy to put the guitar down and think I'll go and do something else yeah. and if the teacher is inspiring you as obviously you know you two have connected um, particularly with British School of Rock but you've connected along the way you're into it yeah. and you're going to yeah. play guitar hopefully for the rest of your lives and it's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness and stuff so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. It's been an absolute pleasure having Casper and Isa in and um, I'm really looking forward. Some of my colleagues are also meeting uh, some other members of your band, aren't yeah. we? We've got a, yeah. so, so, so uh, another Lee from Andertons is gonna do like a bass version of this uh, and then someone's doing a drum version and a singing version as well. So I'll put links to those uh, in the description below. But the highlight is uh, we've got you guys doing your band, basically yeah. all of you doing, doing a number. So what, what number are you gonna do? We're going to be playing Raise Your Hands by Bon Jovi. Yes! <laughs> That's a tune. Richie Sambora is a massive, massive childhood hero of mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm cool. I'm definitely coming to that. So and we'll, we're going to video that in this room um, for you all to see. Uh, I'll put the details of their booking agent in the uh, description below. <laughs> <laughs> They're very expensive. Um, anyway, look, it's been an absolute pleasure, you guys, for coming in. Thank you very much. Good luck Thank with you. your guitar playing Cheers. career. Thank you. Don't give up. Thank you. Rock on. All right, see you guys next time. Nice.